So what I'm thinking old-fashioned New England cooking, I'm thinking Boston, and I'm thinking beans, Boston baked beans. I'm Mike the Stuber and welcome to another episode of our channel. So today we're going to Beantown, Boston. And so why do they call it Beantown? Because they're famous for their beans. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make some Boston baked beans in a slow cooker overnight because tomorrow morning I want beans for breakfast. So we're going to follow up our beans that we're cooking overnight with a, I call it a New England breakfast. Um, beans for breakfast. Beans, brown bread. Yeah, I got some brown bread that we're going to be throwing out there as well. And uh, we'll put some froge eggs on top. But anyway, so the beans. So what I have right now, I've got a pound of navy beans boiling over on the uh, stove top. And they're just about done. we got about four more minutes to go on those. Once they're done boiling, we're going to drain them. We're going to put them in our crock pot over here with three cups of water. Um, I've got an onion I've got to cut up. I'm going to, I have some nice unsliced bacon, smoked bacon. I'm going to get about a quarter pound of that chopped off and thrown in there. Um, we've got a half a cup of brown sugar. I've got a half cup of molasses. I've got a quarter cup of sugar. One teaspoon of ground mustard one teaspoon of cloves ground and a teaspoon each or half teaspoon of each of pepper and salt. So we're going to add all that into our beans. We're going to put it on, we're going to set it on low and we're going to let that cook overnight about 10 to 12 hours. All right, so I have my pound of beans at first I soaked for at least eight hours and then I boiled them for 15 minutes. So they're drained off. I'm going to throw those into my slow cooker. I'm going to add my three cups of water. My half cup of molasses. I'm just going to hold it there and let that drain. My half cup of brown sugar. my sugar, my cloves, salt and pepper, it's a little like molasses, right? And my mustard. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my onion. I'm going to put a rough chop on this. It doesn't need to be minced. Some people mince them. I kind of like my onions a little bit big in my beans. This is about any bean dish that I make. I kind of keep them on the large size. So I'll get this uh, peeled here. A rough chop. Right into the beans and the other ingredients. I need about four ounces of bacon so I have about a pound and a quarter so I'm just going to guesstimate this it doesn't have to be exact so we're going to go right about there and actually I'm going to cut this into about two pieces so that right into my beans, and that's really primarily for flavor. The remainder of my bacon here. I can already think about what I'm going to be making with the rest of this bacon, and I, I can see some spaghetti carbonara in my future with that hunk of bacon. What do you think, Lori? Spaghetti carbonara? She's giving you the thumbs up. She's kind of silent back there. Okay, so what's 
what's the Navy got to do with, with Boston? So, hey, think of Navy, you think of USS Constitution, Old Ironsides. In fact, my bar, and I'll show you some pictures of my bar. So my bar is kind of fashioned to look like the sides of the old, uh, USS Constitution, Old Ironsides. So, pretty cool bar. So, anyways. Uh, so that's it. We're going to set this up and uh, we'll let it uh, cook overnight. And I'm sure that about, I don't know, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to smell this awesome aroma of Boston baked beans down here. So it's been actually 13 hours and uh, we've got some really nice looking beans here. And uh, I just want to caution you. Now, I started this last night because I wanted a nice... New England breakfast this morning with beans and I didn't actually make the beans yesterday during the day for a nice New England bean supper. So you've got to make sure that you leave room for time. If you think it's going to be done right at 10 hours or right at 12 hours, then that's probably not going to be the case. So here we are, the finished product. We'll go in for a taste. And then what I'm going to do after my taste is put together a nice New England breakfast plate for y'all. And, uh, oof, I can't wait. Anyways, here we go. Boston baked beans. Oh, and by the way, I kind of jacked it up a little bit at the very end. Um, yeah, they're Boston baked beans, but I kind of want to put my little Vermont stamp on it. So at the very end, I added two tablespoons of maple syrup to it just to give it a little bit of a maple flavor. And it's really good. Mm. Nice and tender. Got that perfect sweetness to them. Got a little piece of pork in there. These are really good. So, I'm going to get a plate together of a New England breakfast and uh, we'll show you the end result. Alright everybody, so here we go. This is my New England breakfast. I wanted this today because I knew I was going to need something to tie me over the entire day because I got a long day of editing ahead of me. So, anyways, New England breakfast. Actually, New Jersey kind of snuck its way in there because there's some Taylor ham on the plate. But this is kind of typical what we would eat for a New England breakfast. We wouldn't eat it every Sunday. But I got my brown, my grilled brown bread going here, my beans, bacon, some kibasi, um, over easy eggs, taters. And, uh, and I have my fresh, ice-cold apple cider to wash it down. Now, this isn't Willis Woods, and I'm not, uh, I'm not doing a commercial for Willis Woods, but by gum, he has the best cider anywhere. Um, but we got a place over here about a mile from my house called Brown's, and they're pretty good. They, they give Willis a run, but Willis is still number one. Anyways, uh, if you want to see how we make a New England breakfast make sure that you put some comments down in the comment section if I get enough I'll go ahead and make one of these for an episode so hey this shout out on this episode is to all those that served on USS Constitution the oldest commission ship in our Navy and it's still going strong hey if you want to get down to visit it you can look uh, you can go down to Boston Boston baked beans, get some beans while you're there, and go take a tour of USS Constitution. So hey, if you like this video, please crush the like button, subscribe, most importantly share, and if you want to see this plate, if you want to see how I make it all, throw in the comments in the comments section. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time.